So there were comics, you know, they were illustrated. And it's true, I didn't, you know, I didn't, uh, I, uh, I think it would have been very different. I think it would have been, you know, I think, I think we're dealing with a very different, we're dealing there with an image that isn't in the same way representational perhaps, although I'm not satisfied with any of the ways I'm describing this. You know, I'm, uh, I'd like to find, uh, I, the only thing I know that I'm describing, I think accurately, is my revulsion at seeing these images on television. You know, that I know, but, yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, no, I read, it's true, I read the, the I did read the comics, and that I read them simultaneously, Batman and Superman and, 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 and so on. So many of these were, were you know, were, yeah. But there, but, but there is a point, though, at least for me, that was very important, and that is that in the absence of being able to see, there was an intensity of affect. And for example, the function of, of the musical scores. I have to tell you something absolutely extraordinary about the musical score of The Lone Ranger. Uh, there, was, there was a whole series of, you know, anybody who has been familiar with that knows they were mostly taken from German music, yeah. yeah? Well, it turned out many, many years later, when I went to Germany and became interested in the history of Germany and so on, I heard some of the same musical clips, and above all, one of them, there's one which is an excerpt from Liszt's uh, Prelude, and in the Lone Ranger, it was always the time when the bad guys met behind the saloon to sort of, you know, get the plot. Well, do you know what it was in, 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 the, in 1940s? It was the music that was played on German radio to announce important announcements of the German general staff. This is absolutely incredible. So I developed a whole theory that there was somebody who was doing the musical score of the Lone Ranger who knew about all of this. And I, there's actually a book that I was able to do which completely ripped the, three, the, the, the theory to shreds. The person who was doing it was not a, you know, an emigre from Germany. Was, and at least there was no indication in this book, which I you know, read, that there was any connection whatsoever. But nevertheless, there was all of this, mu you know, this, this program music which was connected. Here's something that was you know, being put on the radio right during and after the, the, you know, the Second World War using this music. And was it just a coincidence? But it, and it's also quite astonishing you know, to that the same music could be used to announce momentous, you know, during the war, announcements of the German general staff that is used then to announce the bad guys you know, it's it's quite extraordinary, you know, because uh, uh, no, you don't. <laughs> sure, it is. No, it is absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably you know, but I mean, the the music did play a very a very important role. So you know that you didn't have in the comics. And I was also somebody who was very interested in music from early on. I you know played instruments and so on. So that also contributed. And that I didn't really talk about. I didn't talk about that that year. But it interests me enormously the the relation of sound as well. Sound, not just voice, but sound. And you know I didn't even begin to get to get. To get. Yeah, yeah. The, the re so some of the disillusionment is that all of this stuff is un is available on internet, or you know through the internet, uh, somebody out in Texas has you know tape recorded all of the episodes and so on, and I actually bought a whole bunch of them to listen to, and it was quite disillusioning, you know, other uh, uh, and so on. So uh, I'm not sure that I want to actually you know go back and try to get contact with the, with the, I think I prefer the, my memory in all of its falsification and screening screen memory to maybe the, the, the reality of it. So, yeah. Um, I, I really enjoyed the uh, presentation of Poe's house that's falling and uh, somewhere along the line you mentioned diagram and that really got my attention um, and, I, and on the acoustic side which you began with and, and I think maybe for it seems to me that we somehow start acoustically and then come to the light, even though it historically might be the other way around, or with a Christian uh, story that you, you're saying, you know, logos and let there be light. But we talked about this today, with the wind on the water, mm -hmm. this kind of confusion of, of the audiovisual. So I, I'm thinking of 
with the hat. It, and I, excuse me, because I, this is probably a worse than a screen memory, but the diagram, Freud's famous diagram of the, the psychic apparatus. Yeah, sure. sure. And we all mm -hmm. see that. I love that. Mm -hmm. and it has the, the hat sitting. The uh, hat. Right, right. And it has that two mm -hmm. lines cutting in, which mm -hmm. it's his pre representation. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way, but it's not. You have to qualify that, but it's his diagram of how sound, the sound bite, <coughs> the sound bites the mm -hmm. mind. I don't know if you, if, I forget what you said about diagram in your paper, but you did mention it. The trouble is, I mentioned it as a memory that, that's very, uh, very uh, enigmatic to me. That there was this professor who was a, a very, who was a very, very admired professor who was felt really furious about the fact that Poe was putting one over on us because he was apparently. It, it sounds ridiculous today, but, you know. But this this was a very, very uh, you know respected professor who was felt really he was being cheated. I, I, I mean, I think what was nice about it is that he was sufficiently involved in what he was doing to be really angry, which was, you know, better than just being indifferent or being above it all. But on the other hand, that was obviously what, you know, Poe, in a way, wanted to do. That wasn't enough for, to, to you know, for, to, just, to justify it. But uh, as I say, I don't, it's one of those cases where I'm not sure I'm remembering exactly because when I go back to it, I can't see exactly what, you know, what he was, what he was excited about there in this description of the, of the house. Sure, it doesn't, you know, but, uh, 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 but I remember the intensity. I guess, I guess one of the things that I'm trying to, to get at here is the, 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 the emotionality, the effect produced and its relation to visibility, acoustics, and, and reading, and, and, and so on. And uh, something that Poe, of course, is a, is, is, a, is a master, is a master of. Somebody back there and then, yeah. yeah the more you That this has a resonance in your own life backwards and forwards as well as in the in the novel and the significance and it'd be very interesting to take a psychoanalytic approach to this mm -hmm. as you suggested. Mm -hmm. I have to just uh, wait till that comes or something. But you know the, the <laughs> way, there's something comes to be there. The but uh, it, it's it's uh, I think what I mean what impresses me about this is the the deliberation, the in that sense, you know, the the, the staging of it. The, that he, you know, makes it almost like a demonstration, the drop. So in that sense, it is, you know, the drop of the hat, and not. Uh, but then, of course, the drop of a hat is something that you can't just drop. So, 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 it, it, I guess this is what fascinates me: the the sort of the the, the discrepancy between this event, totally uncontrollable and unpredictable, and and and, and the gesture of then. You know, doing it. That's very much the way I, I tend to uh, see this kind of literature, at least, you see. And uh, there's something, you know, admirable and fascinating in all of that to me, I guess. I don't know. But I have to think more about the slip of uh, that.